Hello everyone, I'm making a video on this uh, Elite Gourmet by Maximatic Belgium Waffle Maker. Um, this is what I'll be using to um, grease the waffle maker after washing it out with a damp cloth. Um, I read the directions. It basically said your first set of waffles should be thrown out only because of taste would change of quality so those would be recommended to throw out so I made my batter and I'll be um, showing you the next step so here I'm gonna be pouring the batter this is already greased up with what I had showed you previously before I made my own batter from scratch um, flour, egg, and uh, baking powder for it to rise just a little bit, make it a little fluffy. I'm going to let it sit for a little bit. I'm going to actually plug it because I forgot to plug it in. And um, I'm going to let it simmer for a little bit before I actually... Um, lower the uh, the top part so I just closed the lid and I'm gonna allow that to hold for a few seconds or maybe a minute um, I'll tell you exactly how long I should leave it until it's fully cooked maybe about a minute according to the directions um, it said it's perfectly normal for it's perfectly normal for um, why is the focus acting up for steam to come out on the on the edge there we are so soon you'll see some smoke coming out on this side and on that side that's what happened with the first one so I'm gonna be cleaning up all this extra spillage And it's making a little whistle as you can see here it's perfectly normal for that steam to come out on its sides um, basically read the directions um, I did close this right here I didn't read anything saying that you have to leave it open um, so here is the first batch that needs to be thrown out actually and I'll be tossing that basically the first set um, the quality is absolutely disgusting so there we have it well the steam is simmering down a little bit it's not as noisy as before and According to the directions it says use a spatula but you have to grease it first um, I as you can see I had used a baster with some olive oil actually you can choose to use butter but it will burn quicker if you use butter so steam is still on this side and there's no steam on the other side so I'm guessing that it's about almost cooked so let's take a peek and voila so depending on how dark you want your waffles I would suggest your cooking discretion is advised and um, I, I want mine a little bit much more toastier I'm gonna lift it again and um, we be taking this out like so. Uh-oh. Did I not grease it? Okay, okay. Here we are, here we are. So you can basically cut it in the middle. And voila. Excuse my little mess here. So I'm going to unplug it once again. And then what I'll be doing is I'll be greasing it up once it cools down because I don't want that, um, maybe 
I shouldn't be doing that. Um, what I don't want it to do is melt the, the baster. So to prevent soggy waffles from the steam, um, it's recommended you put them on a rack. So this is my way of putting it on a rack and letting it cool down. So I'm going to go back to put more waffle mix in the waffle maker. And we're back here at the waffle maker. This is where I use my little baster thingy and basically use my little olive oil. You can choose your best oil, coconut, almond, whatever have you, whatever your best interest I'm not saying my way is the best way but you choose the best way you know how or you want how <laughs> so I'm gonna put the batter in it is not plugged right now so what I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna pour this in Give me one moment. I need two hands to uh, do this. So on that last batch where you don't have a lot of, um, I kind of use a spoon to like spread it out and stuff. So now here I'm gonna plug it in. Basically close it off. And voila. We'll just wait until it's done. So, um, I believe that green light means the indication that the waffle is ready. So this one came out a little goldener than the last one. So there you have it, guys. Here is your Belgium waffle maker review. Comment, share, subscribe, and... We'll be back with another product review shortly. Thank you.